Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. yourselves into the next phase of your existence there on earth. The energies are upon you and the portal is open very very wide and you have so much to look forward to now because you are co-creating with these energies. You are co-creating with your higher self, the universe, source, all other beings in existence. And therefore, when we tell you about your path and we tell you that these energies are about 
putting you on your path, solidifying your path, helping you get back to your path. We want you to know that the path we are referring to is the one in which you are focused on the evolution of your consciousness, first and foremost, which of course leads to your ascension, where you will then have many more paths to choose from. Your path does not necessarily mean the work that you do in the world. It does not necessarily have anything to do with actions, in fact. When you are on your path, you are more self-aware. You are more in tune with your emotions and your vibration. You are more open to the influx of energies. You are more creative and co-creative. With the energies that are upon you. And you are less concerned with what the ego tends to obsess about. What the mind and lower vibrational beliefs have told you are important and that need to be focused upon for whatever reason. That is not what your path is about. And so it is good for you to look at your life every once in a while and ask yourself, where have I been putting my attention lately? And is it serving me to put my attention there? Now you do still have physical bodies and physical lives and bank accounts and bills and things you have to take care of, but you also need to prioritize what it is you are focusing upon. And it is important for you to be aware of your vibration and the evolution of your consciousness because everything flows from both of those. What you do in the world may change from one moment to the next, from one day to the next, from one year to the next, and you are still on your path. In the third dimension, you would choose a profession. Let us say carpentry. And you would become an expert at building things. And you would hone your craft over decades and then you would retire. And you could say it was part of my path to help people. I helped them by building them their homes and the other things they needed to live. And you could feel fulfilled by that life. 
now that the focus is on you becoming a different version of yourself, and it is upon you creating new realities, new Earths, new systems, new galaxies, new universes. You don't have to focus as much on career. And you don't have to look at your purpose or your path as having anything to do with accomplishment. You do want to grow, however, and become what you are destined to become. And you want to do it consciously and with as much joy and ease as you can possibly feel along the way. And we invite you to see your paths in that way. And to know that you can never get too far off of your path because it's as simple to get back on it as closing your eyes, taking a deep breath and centering yourself in your heart. It's as easy to be on your path as to start paying attention to what you're feeling, what you're vibrating. And to be present in the moment at this time is something that not only serves you very well, but it will always be where your path lies. We hope that clears some things up for all of you at this very significant time in your evolution of consciousness. We are the Victorian. Connecting with you. dog or something <laughs> I don't know what that was but um they can be loud sometimes neighbors thank you for watching everybody namaste blessings to you and yours and um I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for tuning in um just took Talea downstairs to, uh, they're going for a walk with our former neighbor, Mercy, and now just very good friend here um, that we've met since we moved here. Um, such a sweet woman. Right around my mom's age too, which is kind of cool. So it's like Talea has a grandmother all the time. <laughs> And Mercy definitely has that grandmotherly vibe to her. Um, I noticed when I was looking at my Instagram video that when I went like this and pointed at Kaliandra yesterday, some of the people on Instagram must have been like, what is he pointing at? Because it's squared off. <laughs> so there's, they didn't have the widescreen. Um, I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of a sale right now, 50% off sale. 
discount code or coupon code rather is L-O-V-E. Enter at checkout, 50% off almost everything on my website. Certain things do not get that 50% off taken off like group events. Somebody just emailed me about a group event they joined and wondering, did I miss out on the 50%? No, because group events like like three week courses, standalone channeling classes and uh, the group live Q and A are never eligible for coupon codes because they're already so low priced. The beginners group channeling class is coming up on Friday, on Saturday, today Thursday where I live. That's dennisgrantcom slash learn or link down below on YouTube that you can just click. Um, that's a, that I made a video about yesterday. Um, and if you can't attend that live, it's fine. You just get the recording or the replay page link and it has a recording and you can download the recording or just press play and listen. Um, but you can do it. You can attend whenever it's convenient for you. If you can't make it to the, um, 12 noon Pacific time in the US, 3 p.m. Eastern time here, uh, start time. For that, um, it's a beautiful day outside. It's so sunny. It's cold though. We're definitely, uh, we're definitely experiencing some, some cold weather here. I think it's colder in this house in the mornings must get less sun in the mornings in here and then it heats up though which is nice definitely in this office i'm getting a lot of sun right now which feels good i feel like a cat in the sun <laughs> um yeah the reason you don't see more of caliandra is because there's a long hallway out that door and then the master bedroom and my wife's office are the other two doors i'm at the end of the hallway so um she's not cats are not allowed in either of those rooms so most of the time the, the hallway door is shut but i um if i ever see her out there as i'm coming in here looking like she might want to come with me i'll definitely let her in um i've been thinking about should i have like the handyman put a little cat door and then like a little cat walk coming up to it so she can always come in if she wants to into my office. Um, so we'll, who knows, maybe someday that'll happen. Um, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Namaste. Blessings to you and yours. And um, I'll see you in 48 hours. I'm gonna, not going to do one tomorrow. Hoping the handyman comes tomorrow. And uh, we got a lot going on here uh, all around. I make my new recordings on Friday too, which is my day off. So <laughs> um, I got enough going on then to do a, one of these seven days a week now. But um, I, uh, I do plan on doing them five days a week for the foreseeable future. And uh, I, um, I know that uh, people wait for them and I appreciate that and I also um, love doing them so it's, it's not like it's something I'm trying to get out of I just I need certain days off um, blessings again take care of yourselves please uh, subscribe on YouTube one of these things up high or low is gonna have a subscribe dealy and um, everywhere else just come back in 48 hours and I'll see you then okay bye bye